Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some signature popcorn. Uh, this was sent to us from Michael in Kansas. Thank you so much to Michael. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. There are actually two different flavors of popcorn in this one bucket. Uh, signature popcorn is made in Long Grove, Illinois. Their website is www.signaturepopcorn.com. And in a little bit, I'll tell you some other flavors that they make. So we need to get the plastic. Somewhere. Well, you get it off there. <laughs> Don't let Kevin do it. So, and in, in this bucket, we have strawberry cheesecake and French toast. So we'll try those first. What um, what's interesting about this uh, strawberry cheesecake? Yeah, there's like pieces of graham uh, cracker. Graham cracker. So which one you try first? Uh, let's do the fr French toast. Okay. I'll get enough before you do. <laughs> so this um, it just looks like traditional caramel corn, but I'll have close-up pictures at the end of the video. So not traditional caramel corn. It's soft, um, nice, lightly layered. You know, um, it has a nice cinnamon flavor, mm -hmm. but it tastes, it also honestly has a maple flavor. French toast. Mm hmm. So a little uh, cross, a little um, syrup on top of it. Oh, That's yeah. Really nice. Mm hmm. And very sweet. I like the, I like the crunch of the coating, but like I said, it's not hard like a traditional caramel corn is. It's a very soft texture. Mm hmm. Oh, it's good. Um, good corn. That is what I like about it, is how mm -hmm. soft it is. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very well coated, like yep. you said. You get a lot of holes, though. But you do get, um, you get cinnamon and you get maple, mm -hmm. and the maple, it's it's all very, very sweet. Uh, they could have called it French toast. They could have also called it um, um, maple syrup pancake. pancakes or something pancake. like that. Pancake, yeah, because it does remind you yeah. of pancakes. I guess because it has a little bit of a cinnamon flavor as well. I French see one that's... You see them there, Super ones that, yeah, ones that you, this is like picky food. You want to pick the best ones, but they're all, they're all good. They're all good. Yeah. Um, good. I like them. Like I said, that I, I still have a lot of holes in my mouth, but you know, that's typical. I did get a lot of holes too. Yeah. Uh, this is the strawberry cheesecake. So I'm going to try one of these first. That's what I was going to do. Typical graham cracker. I like the addition of the glaze. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily add a lot of flavor, but it adds a, a different texture to it. Mm -hmm. You like the strawberry? There's plenty of those um, mm -hmm. graham crackers in there too. The strawberry flavor is good. It's not like I don't know. It's pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Almost just the graham crackers were just a little bit smaller because it's kind of hard to pick up and eat. Like a little, of some of both. It tastes like a liquid strawberry. So I like know. A syrup. Yes, it tastes. Yes, it tastes like a syrup. It doesn't taste like um, fresh strawberry. It doesn't taste like um, even a, a strawberry candy to me. It. I mean, it, it's it's not a natural strawberry, definitely. But if I had to say what that tastes like, which I am. It's strawberry syrup. Like you can buy strawberry syrup at Walmart. That's what it tastes like. I could see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very sweet. So out of these two. The French toast. I'm going for French toast yeah. too. I like the strawberry. I like the strawberry. But. I, like, I really like the French toast. But I really like that French toast. Yeah. That French toast. Um, it's also a difference in texture too. The French toast has a nice crunchy layer on the outside. The, the strawberry is a little softer. Mm -hmm. I don't mind it, but it but it is soft. I'm just comparing the two. It's yeah. a softer Did texture. you eat a cook uh, graham cracker with the popcorn? Yeah, it, and... it, it made a little difference, not a lot. Okay. Do you want to try one? No, I'm good. Um, the um, I mean, I trust you. Um, this is a PB and J and Chicago pizza. So let's do PB and J first. I'm gonna try just the caramel. Fine, dude. And then just the it's grape. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks purple. I'm assuming it's grape. It is grape. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter popcorn. It's peanut butter. I said caramel because it looks like caramel. Those are oh, it's peanut. That's butter. peanut butter. Mm. It's good. I love the texture. 
that texture is so nice because it um, it's crispy on the outside, mm -hmm. but the inside is so soft and easy to eat. Similar to the French toast. Yes. But I think, like I think the peanut butter has a better texture even than the French toast. You'll love that grape. The grape oh, is wow. really nice. <laughs> it's almost like a, a Welch's grape juice grape. Mm -hmm. Growing up, we always, always, always had grape jelly in the refrigerator. So, a lot of families probably would have had strawberry or raspberry or lemon curd or uh, mom bought some orange marmalade and stuff, but we always had grapes. So that's what my, when people say peanut butter and jelly, I automatically assume you're talking about grape jelly. It's good to go. You almost have to have two peanut butters and one grape though. Two peanut butter. Well, these are small, and one grape. That's almost a good. That's a, almost a perfect balance. Mm. This is delicious. It's good. I love the grape. Unlike the strawberry, the strawberry here was kind of like that syrupy mm -hmm. kind of flavor. This actually tastes like grape jelly. Mm-hmm. Whereas oh. this tasted, I agree, like kind of a syrupy put on ice cream or something. Yes, I like the grape flavor more than the strawberry flavor. I do too. It's more of a, a real grape flavor. Yes. The strawberry, it's yeah. I mean, it, I like the strawberry, but. But the, this is so much better. Yeah. And I could buy a whole tub of just the just, peanut, just the, the peanut butter. Or just the grape. Or just the grape. <laughs> but I love that peanut butter. Yeah, it goes really good together. Love they did grape. a good job. Okay. Now this one yeah. is called Chicago Pizza. Okay. I'm gonna get the grape flavor out of my mouth. The grape lingers, so it stays around, which is a good thing. So this is gonna be grape pizza. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is so soft. Mm hmm. It's the texture of a really good um, cheese pizza. I mean, a uh, cheese popcorn. I like the seasonings in that. I do too. It tastes like it has a little jalapeno. Like in that? Oh, I don't think so. You don't think it has a little pepper in there? Like peppers? I just don't. Maybe not jalapeno. Maybe just like a, a green bell pepper. I would never want people to think that's hot. No, 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 no. No. It's just a flavor. It's more of a bell pepper kind of flavor. This? Um, hmm, that's good pizza flavor. It is excellent. This tastes like what I would really picture um, a pizza sauce from an authentic pizza company. Like not um, going out to eat or something like that. Like a true... Italian pizza sauce, that's what I would picture that flavor being because it's so strong. Mm -hmm. um, there are some peppers coming through. They're like bell peppers, not hot peppers. Not like hot. a green pepper. Right. No, I agree with you. But I like that. A that little is. Bit of a little, just a touch of tomato we kind of flavor. Oh, yeah. Nice seasonings, garlic, but and onion. It's good. It's not too much mm -hmm. it just honestly makes you want to keep wanting to eat more, more. it literally tastes like a really really good quality pizza sauce i, I love it i think that's excellent it's really good. there's one that's really dark i got one too um that, that's the thing though is you can keep picking oh yeah 100 percent um okay now my favorite out of the whole tub is the pizza the pizza? out of both okay um mm, this is so hard so hard. Yeah, I would, I would eat a whole bucket of the pizza. I could eat the whole bucket of the pizza too, but I could also eat the whole bucket of the peanut butter and jelly. Me too. Um, or the French toast. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the Chicago pizza. Uh, I really do love that. Good. But I'm going to go with the PB&J second. I'm going to go with French toast third. And lastly, I'm going to go with the strawberry yeah. cheesecake. Yeah. It's okay. The strawberry's good. It's just not as good as the other ones. Well, let me tell you the other flavors they have on their website. Because, it get ready. You do that, I'll keep eating this bottle. You go ahead. They have it. And yeah, because tell me if you hear any more. I would love to try this one. Cake batter. They You're have, more into the vanilla cake batter than I am. I like, yes. Cake batter. They have plain caramel. They have caramel apple. That'd be good. Caramel pecan. If, if they did the caramel apple like they do the peanut butter and jelly, they'd, it'd be good. Caramel pecan. Cheddar, cheesy bacon, mm, sounds good. Chicago pizza, which we have, cinnamon roll, mm. cookies and cream crunch, dark chocolate sea salted caramel, French toast, 
jalapeno cheddar. That'd be good. That'd be for me. You know what I'm also getting out of that? I, mean, I know I'm talking about the pizza still. Um, cheese. It's got a really good cheese flavor. So you can imagine those cheese pe popcorns being good. If I didn't say cheese, I meant to say cheese because yeah. I totally tasted yeah, cheese. Really the cheese, cheese yes, the cheddar cheese is really strong in that. Uh, kettle corn, PB&J, we have Perfect Duo, which is caramel and cheddar. Peanut butter cup. Mm. Hello. Uh, spicy cheddar. Wow, that spicy cheddar looks spicy too. Key lime pie. Mm -hmm. Cheddar pretzel L. Strawberry cheesecake we have. White cheddar, buffalo cheddar, peanut butter. They, you can buy just peanut butter. Uh, apple, chocolate cherry, simply original, strawberry, turtle, chocolate strawberry, chocolate banana. Mm. And that, that's the list. Yeah. There's a lot there, though. There is a whole lot here. And um, you can get different buckets. So, um, because I went to the shop page, um, and you can get... This is a butterfly one. This is a butterfly bucket. It, they're one-gallon buckets, but you can get... There's one called Blue Ornament, and it literally has ornaments. They also have Chicago-themed buckets. So, you can get one that says chicago on it and it has the the cityscape uh in mm -hmm. the background they also come in uh, resellable bags so if you don't want a bucket you don't have to get a bucket you can buy it in a bag uh the bags are are cheaper i would think um but they they have a lot to choose from they have one with a they have gift cards What's that? Metal that's, buckets? A, that's a silver one gallon popcorn tin it looks like a paint bucket so <laughs> i will um Put the link below to their website if you want to go check them out, check out the flavors. I think it's great. They mm -hmm. they did a great job. The only um, thing that I would want you to know is that we did get holes. So it's not like, I mean, you, you're not going to be able to avoid holes. Yeah, you're you know, holes it's popcorn. You're not going to be able to avoid the holes. So just know that. But I think the flavors are excellent. <laughs> you can see Kevin loves it. So thank you so much to Michael. Uh, if, Very good if you click on the link below, we won't know. We don't get anything from it. We're just passing it along to you to make mm -hmm. it easier than you having to go out and find it yourself. That's why I'm providing you with the link. Uh, but we really, really appreciate Michael spending the money on us and sending us these. And I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.